What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am so super stoked to be making a video today. I'm about to show you guys something that is literally probably one of the coolest things this channel has seen in a long time. Um, I'm super excited to finally have this thing and uh, I'll explain how the whole story happened and how I got this. So here it is guys. It's a Caterpillar 302.7D CR mini excavator. Um, you can get a shot of it right there, but this little guy showed up last night. I'm making a video of it today, and it's really a cool story of how I got this thing. So you guys have seen a ton of videos of my Bobcat 442, uh, that big white excavator that I had in a lot of videos I did some work with. I ended up trading that machine for this one right here. This is a 2013 Caterpillar. It's got 3,000 hours on it. It's in really great shape. Everything's tight on it. I am so excited to have this machine. So today, I want to start it up, walk around with it, and show you everything that's wrong with it, which is really not much at all. Uh, probably just cleaning it up and maybe greasing it, stuff like that that I'll do in the future. Uh, maybe putting a thumb on it, light bars, you know, the whole nine yards. Uh, but like I said, let's go through it. I'll start it up, and then uh, hopefully we're actually going to work on my truck today with this thing. I'll show you what that is in a bit. So walking around the machine, it's got an 18 inch digging bucket on it. The teeth are like new, great shape. All the hoses are nice. Um, you can see there's some scratches on the boom, some scratches you know, here and there, not a big deal. Um, I'm gonna end up be, uh, painting this thing this winter so you can see that some of that has been nicked. Not a big deal at all. Um, coming around to this side, Here's the back end of it. We'll pop open the engine and show you that. So here's inside the engine. A tiny little machine. To be honest, I don't even know what type of engine this is. Oh, there it is. It is a Yanmar. Um, you can see in there. Yanmar diesel engine. Good little machines. It's very, very clean as you guys can see. Really nice. Really, really nice. Super excited. Close that up. The tracks on this thing are brand new. You can see the tread. Go over to this side. I mean, it still has these little like lines on it from being new. So that's really nice. Everything's really tight on it. It's got the open cab. We'll climb up in there. The dozer blade on the front, 302.7, climb up in here. <clears throat> so here it is, here's your platform where you sit, that joystick, here's your little control lights, your keys down here, so we'll do a cold start. Turn the key to the on position. The glow plug light, it was on, went out, there we go. So to operate it, you put this bar down, and then the controls are live, so. So I'm going to set the camera up and I'll swing it around.
All right guys, so here's today's project. We're gonna attempt to take this bed off. You guys saw in a previous video that I had some problems with this fuel pump and it's just too much of a pain to get underneath it. So um, I'm gonna actually use this excavator here to lift off the entire bed. So let me go ahead and clean out everything that's in here and then uh, we'll start lifting it off. All right guys, here we have it. The uh, the bed's off. I just used a little mini excavator to pull that thing off. And as you can see now, I got total, total, total access to where the fuel pump is. So I'm gonna start working on trying to get that apart and uh, hopefully we'll get it fixed and then put it back on. All right guys, what a success. I didn't get a lot of video of this, but here's where we're at. I had to move the truck back so that I could get my airline from the garage to the uh, to the truck. But I got the bed over here, truck's there, my little mini excavator right here. And this fuel ring right here, I could not get this guy off for the life of me. You guys have no idea. I bought this tool attempting to get it off. Anyways, I used my impact and bam, there it is. This thing is off. The fuel pump itself is freed up. So. I'm gonna go ahead and go get my new fuel pump and install that. I am so freaking pumped, you guys don't understand. I was fighting that thing, I broke the freaking ratchet, the half inch ratchet. It's just, it was, it's was. it been such a nightmare, but I, you guys do not know how relieved I am right now. So, let me go get all those parts, I'll put this thing back together, and we'll get the bed back on, and hopefully there's no more issues, and we'll put all this back together. All right guys, so we're back in the truck. One of the issues I had when I took this, trying to get this fuel pump off, was that all the knobs had broken off of it. So I had to cut all the lines, um, and there's no longer a quick fitting. So what I'm gonna do is use these barb fittings to go from the truck side to the new pump. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, what I wanna start with is getting all of these uh, barbs into the uh, lines that they go into. So hopefully all of these will go in smoothly.
All right, guys, so I'm gonna pull this whole unit out now. As you can see, all the gas is draining out. Wow, it's actually really clean in there. There's not much debris at all. So taking a look in there, you guys can see there's a little bit of sediment and dirt down there, but that's really not bad considering its age and how much rust I found up here. So let me get the new fuel pump um, out of the box over here and we'll get that set in there. All right, so I got the new fuel pump right here. I'm going to carefully slide in the bobber. Let me get that in. We'll drop the tank in. Make sure the tab lines up. All right, so that is locked into place. <clears throat> I've got the O-ring in there locked into place. Um, I took the lock ring that I got off earlier, I applied Never Seize on it on this ring. So basically, uh, just in hopes that if I ever have to come back in here, it'll come off easily. We'll hose out of the way, slip this on. You can see it lines up on those tabs. Once it's on, okay, that's in like that. Make sure it sits under those tabs. So now we'll take our tool that we used to get this thing off. Okay, that's on. I'll take my ratchet. To tighten it in place. So make sure it's all lining up. All right, I got it started on. Um, having trouble getting it on. Let me go get the impact. I'll just bust it on like that. All right, so I got the impact. I'm going to put it on the lowest setting to tighten. Um, and hopefully, I'll just go real light on it, knock it in there. And I think that'll do it. That's on. All right, cool. So just an overview. Got the fuel pump on. Um, now I guess I'll set the camera up. We'll cut these lines to size and uh, we'll hook everything else back up. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the hoses to size. Um, this one has to hook on to this blue right here. So take that off. Let's see, maybe right up right here.
All right, so I've got everything buttoned back up. As you can see, the electrical connectors are in. I've got this line going here, this one going here. I do realize it's a little pinched right there, but I don't think that's gonna hurt it too much. Um, it really isn't pinched that bad, to be honest. But that's like that. And then lastly, I've got this hose right here. Um, let's go ahead and start it up and see what happens. Okay, there we go. There we have it. She's running. I don't see any fuel leaks yet. That's good. All right, well, we'll let this run for a bit and then uh, let's get this bed back on. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna clean up all this stuff over here. Here's the old fuel pump. As you can see, it's just nasty. Rotted out, discolored. Just put that right in the trash. So, all right. All right, here we go. I got the truck pulled up here. I'll get on the excavator and uh, we'll lift this bed back on and then tie everything else down. All right guys, there we have it. The truck is put back together. And here's the new cat mini excavator. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.